I'm a big scenario guy, like a mental, mental reps. I think game day for me is like, you know, you're playing this team, this defense does this, so if I get this scenario, what am I going to do? I like that game day. I'm not sure the night before that I want guys thinking hockey all the time. Um, I think you can burn yourself out. But game day, that, that 12 hours, that whole day, I really believe you should play scenarios in your head. You know, you're playing this team, they clog the middle up, so what, what should I do tonight? I think that helps. I do. I thought he had a good practice today, so it's a good start for him. Option for tomorrow, maybe? Yeah, well, uh, I'm going to sleep on it with him. We, we talked about uh, today a little bit, so I, I, we'll wait 24 hours to decide if he plays tomorrow or not. That's just cap for cap uh, related, so you get some cap relief, so it's, that's all it is. He's still considered each week? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and Baines comes up. What was the decision behind bringing him up? Well, we, we get some cap space to bring a couple of guys up. I think it's important uh, to have, uh, you know, like to see how, where he's at, maybe throw him in the lab. I'm not sure if he's going to play tomorrow or not, but, uh, you know, it's competition. You know, it's, uh, you know, he uh, went down there, he's kind of did a couple of things that we like, and he's got some speed. Sign him here for the rest of the year? No, not necessarily. I, I, I wouldn't say. There's 10 games left. I, I, I couldn't say that, no. Totally comfortable that Thatcher will have, I think it's six games. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, how, yeah. How concerned uh, are you about the Lingo situation? There seems to be a lot of some uncertainty around it right now. Yeah, I'm not really concerned. I think it's just, uh, you know, it's something a little nagging that's that's getting better every day. That's the way you got to look at it. You're not worried that there could be something else discovered and it's suddenly really long term? No, I mean, not from the best of my knowledge, I would say no, but yeah, no. Is there a timeline on him yet? No, not a timeline, no. Well, I think, you know, when you look at that L.A. game, that's where Dakota is, you know, he's he's that guy that can, you know, get that puck around the net. Um, um, and obviously the way he's, uh, you know, the, over the last year, how he's gotten better and better, um, how his, his season started, didn't go great, and how he took the information, the way he's, you know, I mean, for arguably that six, seven weeks or two, week, uh, two months there, I mean, that line was cooking, and he was a big reason for it. Not having that line, it looks like you've got Dakota skating with JT and Rock. How much of that is also result of Connor playing as well as he is with people? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's going to be some situations where you're going to have to move people around, matchups, bigger defense. Um, you know, you're looking at different scenarios. You know, can this line play against bigger defense? Can this? Do you want to play this line against you know um, smaller defense? I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, I don't like you know I don't like moving the, the the lines too much, but we're looking for people to hold spots right now. There's ten games left. With Thatcher, is there a plan for when you might skate again? Not necessarily play your skate. Uh, I think there's a date, but I'm, I don't I don't I, it's not a hard date right now. But uh, there's a there's a game plan with him. No, I just think you know if you guys were ready, like you know we have a day off, you got to be ready to go. Like. There's 10 games left, you know, and uh, they picked that up after that. So that's all. No, no big deal. Uh, yeah, I think that's been that's been a uh, that's been a, something I've really been proud of the team where we've dropped the ball and they've taken the information and whatever presentation I gave it to them and have bounced back and. Even in a short term, like a, you know, the first part of practice we didn't like, but the last part you liked it. So I think that's a credit to the players. They're taking. Listen, you're not going to be on your game all the time. You're not going to be mentally into it. But I think at this this point of the season, uh, for some guys, you got to train your mind now. This is like it's go time. Ten games left. You know, um, there's some details that we you have to do it most of the time now. Um, this is not November hockey, and I think that's sometimes we got to. Just a reminder. Um, well, I mean, hopefully you got enough players that send that message, right? I mean, uh, um, and it's, it's also too my presentation. But I can't be yelling and screaming every day. But I don't think I've yelled and screamed in two weeks, so I thought it was a good time to do it every 14 days. What about um, some extra time on the ice with JT and Brock? What was the message? Like? Uh, it was more like the six on five at the end, like just uh, they're. they're Asking questions. Bill's he's really like an intuitive guy. He likes to 
he likes scenarios, you know. Um, so we walked over a few, some over some stuff. Um, when you don't practice, you know, sometimes practice you want guys in and out. Sometimes walkthroughs or those type of moments are big with coaches with their players. It could be anybody. I was talking to Hoggy today about his game yesterday about some positional stuff. I think it's important that uh, you spend time with the player on the ice, not always in the video room. Sometimes they want to feel it and touch it on the ice. Yeah. Do you view it as a good thing that your team has 10 more games? Or is it kind of a difficult time right now to Well, I mean, I've talked to some coaches, buddies of mine, and they usually say this is the dog days. Like some teams are kind of, come on, let's get the playoffs going. And when you do that, you don't play as well. So it's important that you can't let your team think that way. Um, and I think when they get away from the rink, that's when they got to shut their mind off. So it's kind of a, a balance, right? When you're at the rink, it's go time. When you're away from the rink, don't worry about hockey. Don't think of hockey. So I think that's that might eliminate the dog days, I think. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> They're poised to be a real dangerous entry. <laughs> <laughs> Generational talent. Thanks for liking the video and subscribing.